What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna be checking out WWE wrestlers who hit their finishers in music videos. There are times where wrestlers end up in different artists music videos. So this should be an interesting one. I'm looking forward to this video, man. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel, man. You guys have been running it up. We're almost at 100K and I'm very thankful for all the love and support you guys have been showing. So let's get right into this one. Should be a good one. Seen wrestlers hit their finishers in the ring, but have you seen them do it in music videos? During the Hulkamania era, Hulk mm -hmm. Hogan was so famous, he started a music video with Dolly Parton called Headlock on My Heart. The story is that Dolly falls in love with Hulk Hogan, who is a wrestler named Starlight Starbright. She goes to see the Hulkster in action, wow. and during Hogan's match, he performs his iconic finisher, the leg drop. This allows Hulk Hogan to get the one, two, three, and not only does he win the match, but he also gets the girl. Yeah, Hulk Hogan back in that time period, he was so popular. He was in movies, even though most of them weren't that good. He was in like on talk shows, he was on radio shows, he was guest appearance on other you know, game shows. Like he was everywhere because wrestling was so big back then and he was the face of of wrestling. Now this is just awesome. We all know that the rapper Bad mm -hmm. Bunny has gotten into the WWE ring and beaten people up. However, yep. wrestlers have appeared in Bad Bunny's music videos and right, done the same see, thing. Yep. In the song Key and Two Ares. Oh yeah, and uh, I believe, I think he, uh, I believe Ric Flair was in one of Bad Bunny's videos, I'm not sure. I want to say he was. I could be wrong. Bad Bunny is a trucker and makes a stop at a diner with his friend. They end up getting into some beef with a motorcycle gang and leave. The bad guys decide to chase them down, which they soon regret. Bad Bunny pulls his truck over and confronts the motorcycle gang. Just as Bunny starts to get surrounded, out comes Stone Cold Steve Austin. Wow! Nobody with my bunny. What? The Texas what? Snake acts like it's an episode of Monday Night Raw and begins cracking open a can of you know what. The best part is when he nails one of the guys with a stone cold stone. Uh, After everything is clear, wow. Austin and Bunny celebrate with beers. But just like what Donald Trump learned at WrestleMania 23, you can't trust a rattlesnake. And Stone Cold hits Bad Bunny with a stunner to end the music video. That's cool. But check out the unedited clip. Oh wow. That is, bro, Bad Bunny is a fan of wrestling. He's had multiple wrestlers in his videos, and he's wrestled at a WrestleMania. He is a fan of wrestling. I think that's dope. I didn't even know he had a video with Stone Cold. That's, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a rapper, bro. I'm definitely hitting up like a Stone Cold or a Rock. Can you please be in my video? It can only be for like, it, it could be for five seconds. Like that's, if you're a fan of wrestling and you know what I'm saying, you, you, you still watch it or you still support it, bro. And you happen to rap or do music. I think that's pretty tough. He's WCW teamed up with the band Stuck Mojo to produce a music video for the song Rising. The video features several wrestlers and the whole thing takes place in a wrestling ring. Whoa. So you know, some moves are gonna be hit. Yeah. During the song, Billy Kidman hits his finisher, the Shooting Star Press, to the outside of the ring. I hope someone caught him. A yeah. little later, Diamond Dallas Page steps inside the ropes and begins beating everyone up in slow motion. He delivers <laughs> several moves, but before nailing a guy with the diamond cutter. Uh, Not only that, but right after hitting one cutter, the WWE Hall of Famer hits a second dude with another cutter to end the music video. When Rob Van Dam joined TNA tough. for Impact Wrestling in 2010, he needed some new entrance music. A musician named Cushionator created a song called The Whole Effin' Show, and it also got a music video. In it, this guy, Cushionator, smokes something that makes him pass out and hallucinate that he's in the ring with RVD. There's also a small army of other wrestlers who want to beat up Mr. Monday Night. Van Damn then proceeds to bust out his signature moves, like That's the Rolling cool. Thunder, the Monkey Flip, Split-Legged Moonsault, and just about everything else. However, at the end, RVD gets on the top rope and executes his finisher, the Five Star Frog Splash. Luckily, Crushinator snaps out a bit at that point. This one's kind of interesting. That's dope. In the That's music dope, video man. for a song called The Endless, Tommy Dreamer is trying to chill at his house, but his next door neighbors are jamming as loud as they can. When they refuse to lower the volume, Dreamer takes matters into his own hands and starts beating the crap out of everyone. Everyone, and I mean everyone. What the he hell? The fans and the band. The lead singer tries to crawl away, but Tommy Dreamer isn't done. He and the poor guy end up outside, and Dreamer takes out the musician with his finishing move, the Death Valley Driver. <laughs> oh, At least Tommy trash Dreamer games. is kind enough to do it by some padding. The only thing crazier than all this is seeing WWE wrestlers hit their finishers in public. To watch that, hit the video. Oh, that was cool, man. That's that just shows how powerful like the love for wrestling is man and for me it's one of those types of things where um 
at one point, you know, I lost the passion. Like I wasn't feeling it, but I was able to come back. And it, it just it just brings me to the moments when I was a kid, when I used to watch wrestling all the time and, and used to just be amazed at what I was seeing in the ring. And it's, it, it's not as popular as it used to be. I don't think wrestling will be as popular as it once was, but if you're able to still enjoy it, if you're able to like really, you know, appreciate the craft and appreciate the work that's done in any ring, it doesn't even matter if it's WWE, AEW, Impact, you know, New Japan, wherever you love wrestling at, even it could be at your local gym or whatnot. If you love it, if you have passion for it, don't be ashamed of it. You know, uh, just, you know, embrace it, you know, like love what you love in this world and it's cool to see some of these artists show their love for wrestling in their own music videos they don't have to but i think that's just a, a cool thing to show hey i'm still a fan of wrestling so comment down below let me know i want to ask y'all kind of a different question when did you become a fan of wrestling if you can remember your earliest time of saying oh this is cool i gotta watch more of this let me know for me i became a fan of wrestling i want to say it had to be like when I actually understood what it was. I want to say I had to be maybe seven, something like that. I had to be like seven years old or something like that. That's I was relatively young, so man. But that's the earliest moment I can remember of me being a fan of wrestling. Comment down below, let me know that. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 100k. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.